In this lecture, we will be seeing another example of conversion of regular expression to its equivalent finite automata. So here we have a regular expression given and we will convert this to its equivalent finite automata. So since this is a long one, what we'll do is we will try to break it down as small parts and then we will design it in a simple way and then we will keep expanding it till we get the required finite automata. All right, so here if you see, we have one zero and we have a plus symbol that is or and we have this sequence that follows. So what I will do is for my first step, I will treat this one zero as a single symbol and zero plus one one and zero closure one, this whole thing I will treat it as another symbol. So let us design it in a simple way like that. So for that I will take a state over here which will be my starting state and I will have another state here which will be my final state. So I will have only two states over here for the beginning and since this is one symbol, this is another symbol and they are separated by a plus. So whenever it is separated by a plus, I already taught you, you have to just send them to the next state using just two different transitions. So this will go to the next state on getting input one zero and then this will also go to the next state on getting the input zero plus one one zero star one. So since we are treating it as a single symbol, we write it like this. Okay, so we have written like this, but we cannot just leave it like this because this is not a proper finite automata. We have to further expand this. So let us expand this part. So I'll take this initial state that we created and here we see that this is one zero. There is no plus symbol in between them. It is one followed by zero. And I already taught you when there is a symbols of this form, when the symbols just follow each other. So what you have to do is you have to make separate states for each symbol and make them proceed. So here I'll make one state and this will be the final state which we already had. And here I'll send this state to the next state on getting input one, this one. And then from here, I will send it to this state, that is the next state, on input zero, which is this zero. So we have expanded this and we have created a automata like this. Now coming to this part, what we'll do is, we'll make states for these symbols as well. So first let's look at this part, zero or one one. So whenever it is separated by a or, what you have to do? You have to just make a single state and then send them both to that state. So I'll make a state over here and I will send this to this state on getting input 0, this 0 and or 1 1. That means even on getting input 1 1 also it should come to this state. So 1 1. Okay, so we are done with this part and then we have 0 star and 1 and this one is of this form. That means there is no plus symbol in between them, so we have to make two separate states for them. So let me make a state here. This state is already there, so from this state I will send it to the next state on getting input zero star and from this state it will go to the final state or the next state on getting this input one over here. Okay, so we have designed this part also. Now it is still not complete because we see that here we have two symbols and here we have a zero closure. We have to expand this further. Only after that we can get the final result. So let me expand it over here. We have our starting state which is this one and this part it will be the same. We have two states over here. So this will go to this state and this state will go to this state on getting input one and a zero. All right, so let us expand this. So here we see that we have one one. So when we have in symbols of this form, I told you we have to make two separate states for the symbols. So let me make a separate state over here and this state will come as it is over here like this. And I'll say this will come to this state on getting input 1 and it will proceed to the next state on getting the 
next input 1. So we have designed for these two. And this 0, it will remain the same. It has to go to this state, which is this one. So I will send this state over here on getting input 0. Okay, so now we are done with this part. We have expanded this and we have got states like this. Now what we have to do is we have to do this zero closure. Now I already taught you whenever you have a closure, what you have to do is very simple. Just send a self loop. So I'll send a self loop to this state and I will give it input zero. So this is what we are going to do for zero closure and we are done with that. And after that, we have this one following it. So it will follow from here going to the final state. So from here we will send it to this final state on getting the input 1. Now we see that there is only one input symbol associated with each transitions. So we have successfully designed the finite automata for this regular expression. And if you want you can give names for these states that we have made here like we can call it A B, C, D and E. So this is how you design the finite automata for the given regular expression by designing it in a simple way and then expanding it further to get the required finite automata for the given regular expression. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.